Sarah Angelo, Senator Blumenthal, who chairs this committee, and ranking member Republican Senator Ron Johnson called today's testimony some of the most powerful they've ever heard. I was in fear because he was my next door neighbor. First class cadet Kira Holmstrup is a senior at the U.S. Coast Guard Academy. She was sexually assaulted during her second week there by a fellow classmate. What I thought was an innocent ice cream date on campus turned into a sexual assault that has haunted me ever since. We are always told that you just have to say no. But no to him was an invitation to try again. Holmstrup was one of five women who spoke Tuesday at the Senate's Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations hearing. Over the course of three days, he repeatedly raped me in that room. When I returned to the academy, I told no one. I feared that if I reported this incident, I would be the one to face discipline. I was assaulted, I was groped in a group, in a room with 30 of my peers, and they watched and they laughed this hearing is the first step in one of multiple congressional investigations now underway after reports the Coast Guard Academy failed to disclose the results of an internal probe into sexual misconduct called Operation Fouled Anchor. It is an abject failure of integrity that senior leaders have concealed, condoned, and otherwise enabled this behavior to thrive. Fouled Anchor found dozens of sexual assault cases at the Academy were mishandled from 1988 to 2006. Tuesday, survivors described an environment of harassment, retaliation, and fear. My main perpetrator is currently a lieutenant commander in the Coast Guard. He is thriving in a career that I had hoped for. This committee may not be able to solve sexual assault, but you can solve some of the barriers that we face. And the Coast Guard did admit these failings in an accountability and transparency review report released last week, but lawmakers and some survivors say that didn't go far enough. They want to see what they call real accountability. Senator Blumenthal says there will be more hearings, and if Coast Guard leadership does not comply with this investigation, he will issue subpoenas. Sarah Angelo.